stuff now is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. There's some teams in our league that, I mean, you know, they'll be in the, the, the high tens of millions of pounds, 80, 60, 70 million pounds. And it's just stratospheric, you know, differences between where we are. And, and so we're going to have to rely on the momentum we've got, the spirit we have, um, all these key elements that you can't really put a price on, you know. You can put a price on a physical specimen, on a fantastic goal scorer, but you can't put a price on this team togetherness, you know. It's, it's a really, really important thing here at Wickham. And, and if we have to be a little bit different, we will be a little bit different to make this work. Uh, I mean, you know, I've been talking all week to people about how different we are and, and I don't look like the standard manager and, and I don't want my team to look like the standard team. But we're, we are going to be this team that people remember and go, you know what, they were different, but while they were hard to play against, while they survived in the championship, while they they made this noise and uh, and that's my end this season. And, and enjoy it because it's what life's about. I love coming in every day, honestly, getting the music on in the gym, watching these boys come in and going, and excited to play in this championship and going, Gaffer, I want to play in this first game. I want to play in the in these big shiny stadiums. The you know they're only shells. You know it's the heart that counts, and uh, and any, we can match anything. We really can, and, and we're we're looking forward to going to all these places. Um, but I get a buzz off that, and I would get a buzz off multi-million pound players coming in and doing the same for them as well. So yeah, it's it's a real tricky question for me to answer. You've got players like Akin Fenwick, Matt Bloomfield, Joe Jacobson. I'll bring a new signing in. They'll stop what they're doing, literally stop what they're doing, come over, shake their hands, because we've all been in that place. We've all been on that first day where you walk in somewhere. Now here, if somebody walks in and we don't know, I, I, I tell the players, go over, say hello, talk to them, converse them. You make them feel so comfortable. You, And it's only good for the group, you know, so... Daryl Hogan, we do a lot of character checks as well. So Daryl's a great guy. Ryan Taffazoli, real good, quiet thinker in the group. Stockdale, he's Stockdale. We, we, you know, he fits the culture like you wouldn't believe. And 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 the others, you know, Uchi Ikpizu, we, we, he's been on our radar for so long that he knows almost about the club. They know what it is to be a Wiccan player, you know. They they really do. And uh, and I think that you'll be seeing that in performances from the boys. And, and uh, you know, say we're different. We're going to be different. Um and, and we'll see how uh, we'll see how we go. But I'm really looking forward to the, the first game kicking off. I've watched them this week. Um, if any sides quite similar to us in the league, it will be them. Um, real big, strong, organised. Bull Warren's got them working really, really hard. I like them on transitions. I like them. I like the way they they want to do things. Uh, and I think they're they're very good at organised and. Uh, it's going to be a really, really tough game. I don't think people realise that Rotherham Wickham. Or, 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 all right, it's not the it's not the the build fancy fixture in League One, but I tell you, what, I think this be a good game. I think it'd be a real good game, uh, and uh, and I'm looking forward to to seeing Paul again, congratulating him. And and if I'm honest, Rotherham have done a brilliant job. Rotherham and Wickham, you know, the two names in that championship that probably you know you look back in historically and go, what are they doing there? You know, and. Uh, and so fair play to Rotherham. It's their, it's their, you know, I don't know how many times they've been in there, but the chairman's very good and, and the club are very good. Um, fair play to them. We, we know we, we'd love to repeat what they did a few years ago and, and, and be in the championship for a couple of years. And there's no reason why both of us can't do that. I'd say, I said to the boys, nobody will ever take that, that night away from them at Wembley. No one can ever take it. It's recorded in the history books. It's pictures everywhere with video footage and save it all. And look back on it and say that's what I did. But you know, we've we're in the championship now. We cannot rest on any laurels. Sorry to use that cliche, but we cannot. We've got to make sure that we are now firing in the championship. I said to the boys while we're in League One, everyone's looked at the championship, everyone's watched a game in the championship, and every one of you have said, Do you know what? I could do that. I'm not a million miles away from that. Prove it. Now's your chance. Now's your now's your chance to take this and go, right, here we go. Um it it will be it will be a fantastic season for us no matter what. At the end of the game on Saturday, we're going to be in the highest position Wigan Wanderers have ever been in. Win, lose or draw. What a great what a great message that is. But you know what? I'm not finished yet. I want to keep building with this club and keep going. Um, and team news, you're not getting anything right. <laughs>